Um, I, I more and more I think of music, and the role of music in in painting, having worked with the sound man himself, Mr. Eno, and the search for um, yeah, the kind of the, the, the relationship between sound and, and vision, and 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 uh, Kandinsky wrote a whole book about it. Um, but I think there's a lot there that needs to be explored. And I wanted to be a pop star. I, I was, I am mu musical. And, and I couldn't think of reading music. That was like Chinese to me, being dyslexic. It was like, still is, like, makes as much sense as Chinese. Um, but the, uh, it's just interesting, that, and I was talking to a friend yesterday, the link with ma uh, maths, um, pure mathematics and, and fine art, or, or art. That all these things link up, science, art, maths, music. Um, so when one talks about uh, creative avenues unexplored, um, one starts to think a lot about those links and those relationships. Uh, but I'm composing a song in this painting right now. There's bass, there's treble, there's whatever language they use. Because at the end of the day, it has to be a creative, harmonious creative object or thing that one's looking at. And the other thing I've also found interesting is if I do 10 paintings, and one of them's really good, and I put those 10 paintings out for strangers to see, regardless of their art training or education. Most of those people will recognize the masterpiece, the best painting, by looking at them, um, because there's a universal sense of balance that people pick up when they see something, which effectively is what makes a good or a bad painting out there. So I like to use paintings as paintbrushes. Talking of which, where's my paintbrush? 